everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> A few weeks ago, something awesome happened. I got an email from Shein. Now, this is really, really cool because I've been wanting to shop at Shein for ages and I think that Shein and Romwe are part of the same company. So I posted a Romwe video and like I did that myself. I wasn't sponsored or they didn't give to me that stuff. Like I bought all of those things for that video. But I think that the company probably saw it because they sent me an email and they were like, oh, hey, we were wondering if you could review some products from Shein. So of course, <laughs> of course, I said yes. So I went on Twitter. Twitter this time, that's right, I usually do it on Instagram, but I did it on Twitter this time because I just started an account. So I went on Twitter and I said to everyone, hey, Shein is gonna gift me some stuff, what do you want me to review? And they sent me a whole bunch of really, really good suggestions. There were a few double ups, so there's a couple of people that all sent me the same thing, so it's obvious that that item must be pretty popular. I wasn't disappointed with a single thing that I got in my Romwe video. Like, this this is one of the things that I got, this top, and this was super cheap and it's really nice quality and it fits really well too. So, oh, okay, bye. He'll be back. I wasn't disappointed by anything from the Romwe haul, so I'm pretty sure that this haul is gonna be really good too. So they sent me eight items. From the things that people sent me, I tried to get a bit of a mix. I tried to get things that were pink and I tried to get things that weren't necessarily my style, but obviously they're your style, that's why you sent them to me. So let's get into it. All right. Now everything that I ordered is a size small, just so you know. And I usually wear a size six in Australia, which is about a size two in America. Uh, and I'm five foot nine. So just to give you an idea of how these things might fit. All right, so the first thing, this looked very, very pretty on the website. This is a beautiful white dress. Now it's got this really nice lacy detail. It's got a little gold zipper at the back. It looks like it's going to be somewhat transparent. And I normally do this thing which I call the undies test where I wear brightly colored underwear so that you can see whether or not the item is gonna be somewhat transparent. And if it is, then that just kind of means that you have to wear a G-string or nude underwear. But it's just a little test that I always do. So I don't think this is going to pass the test. But my very first impression is quality-wise, it's not, it's not amazing, but it was very cheap. So I think for what you're paying, you're getting good quality for the price. dress. I'm really happy with this. The only issue that I'm having is that it's not fitting very tightly at the back. Now that's not causing any problems but I just don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if it's the wrong size. I can still wear it completely fine and I think that it's sitting really nicely but I wonder if you might be able to see. Uh, yeah I don't actually. It could just be because of the cut. It could just be because of this shape that it kind of feels like it's very loose. But there's actually nothing. There's nothing at the back there. So I think that's a really, really pretty. Archie! Stop it! I really like this white. It's a really, really crisp. You're so bad. This white is a really, really crisp white. Like it's really bright and it really stands out. The lacy sleeves are so nice. They're really beautiful. And sometimes when I've bought things with lace sleeves in the past, I couldn't get my arm into it because the lace doesn't stretch, but there's plenty of room for arms of all different shapes and sizes. So I think that this one is a major win. I feel like I could wear this to like a really nice function or a formal event or it always feels like if you put this all the way to the floor it could be a really nice wedding dress how how crazy is that that's that's what I think like I totally feel that do you, you like it too I love it I think this is thank you for suggesting this I think this is so beautiful I wouldn't have actually bought this myself if it hadn't been suggested to me 100% I wouldn't have bought it because I would have just looked at it and been like oh yeah you know I, I really didn't think that it would look as nice as the photo but it totally looks just like the picture I love this one. This is so nice. And I'm just wearing a strapless bra from Wish underneath this. Yes, for those of you that watched my Wish haul, the strapless bra is still going strong. It still works. 
the sticky suction cup bra. It's really nice. This We're off to a very good start. The second thing is a two-piece set. Now this one is something that a lot of people sent to me. I know that it's uh, going into summer over in the States, or maybe it is summer, I, I don't really know, but or it's going into it, I'm not sure. But I'm not going to be able to get much wear out of this in Australia because it's winter right now. But hey, I can wear it inside and I can show you what it looks like. Ow! St get! Here, hold that. There's shorts. Now they're a little bit crinkly and there's a black mark on the back of them. I'll see if I can show you. Just a little tiny black mark. I don't know what that is. I, it, honestly, it kind of looks like a pen. So there's that. And this is fraying a lot around here too. Look, can you see that? There's some... Oh, oh. Oh, it came loose. Never mind. I think that that's come from up here around the zipper. So that isn't really a good first impression, but like I said, this was very cheap, so I don't really expect the best quality for something that's so cheap. And then there's the top, which... Oh, well, Archie hasn't put a hole in it yet, so I guess that goes to show that it's not too bad. This one doesn't seem to have any stains on it or anything or any marks. Oh no, there it is. You know, actually, I think that little black thing... Where is it? Do you see it? There. I actually have a feeling that that is maybe something that's almost embedded into the print. Because it, that looks identical to what it did on that. So that could just be like a glitch with the printing or something, I'm not sure. Or the, the fabric, you know. So this is a little top that ties up around the arms. Okay, here's the two-piece set. Just got to try and figure out how I'm going to do this up on my own. I don't know what I think about this. Um, it's cute, but the pants don't have pockets. But aside from that, I really like this off the shoulder top and I think it's very cute how it ties up here. It's sitting a little bit funny. I don't know if I just haven't done it upright or, or maybe I have it on backwards. <laughs> none of these things... This just occurred to me. None of these things have tags on them. You know how usually there'll be a tag? There'll be a tag at the back with the size and then that helps you indicate which one's the front and the back. Not a single one of these things has a tag on it. So I'm finding it a bit hard to work out if this is meant to be the front of the top or the back of the top, but... I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I really like the colour. I'm sorry about the white balance. I know that I'm probably disappearing into the background right now. I'm trying to film with... Na I'm trying to film with natural light from the window, but the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds, so... I'm sorry, I'm... I'm still working on the YouTube thing. I'm trying to figure it all out and get the lighting situation right. You come here now. Mister, now. You know you're a bad bird. You're a very bad bird. It's rude and it's not nice and you're a naughty boy and no almonds for you. No almonds for you. I do think this is a lovely set and I think that going into summer, some of you guys over in the States would really like this. It's a very light material. It's not too see-through because the shorts actually have a double layer, so I really appreciate that. I feel like if it was just a single layer of fabric, you'd be able to see right through it, but that double layer is very helpful. And I really like that it's pink and white, and I think that this one came in different colours too. So I'm very happy with this. This is really sweet. And for the price, this one's worth it too. Now, Archie is going to love this next one. <laughs> He's, he's spotted it already. Look, he's making his way down. If you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that Archie is obsessed with anything green. So this is a green pinafore. Now this pinafore came in a bunch of different colours. This pinafore comes in a lot of different colours, but I had to get the green one because I knew that Archie would love it. This is one of the first green things that I've bought in a very long time. I sometimes buy mint, uh, like these. I sometimes buy that sort of green, but this is much darker than what I would normally wear. But I think Archie's very happy that I got this one. Here's the green pinafore. I think this is so cute. Now, this was a small, but there is a little bit of room here, but I don't know if it's meant to fit really tight or not, but there's definitely enough room, so I don't think that you'd have to worry about this one being too small. It may just be too big. 
So there's a little pocket here, which would definitely fit a phone. I don't know if anyone wants to carry their phone there, but you could if you wanted to. The length of it, it stops halfway up the thighs, and I think that's a really nice length. I normally have an issue because I'm so tall where things are too short, but I could wear this as a dress comfortably and it wouldn't be too short for me. I really like the fabric. This is kind of like fake corduroy. I think this looks really cute with this little Romwe top underneath as well. Artie, do you like it? It's green. You wanna come see? Yeah, what do you think? It is really green, I know. I don't believe it either. I didn't think it would ever happen. Well, I think this one's Archie approved for sure. Hello. For the price, I think this one is absolutely fantastic. I definitely recommend it. I think he likes it a bit too much. I was very excited when I saw this one suggested to me because I've actually been eyeing this off for a little while on the website. This pullover has a really, really cool detail on the sleeve. It's like a, you know, a stitching detail and it feels really nice, it's very soft. The knitting, I'm having a look at it and I don't really see any loose stitches or anything, so that's good, that's always promising. But with this boy around, things always end up with the stitches being pulled loose because his claws get stuck. So uh, I'll see how long it lasts. Okay, can you just, can you sit here? I'm gonna try and put on a top. This is my favorite Archie trick of all. It's called, stay on my head, bird. Now the hard part is getting him down. This is really cute. I like how it's somewhat oversized and I think that this would look really nice tucked into a skirt. I love that trend with the big pullovers and the skirt cinching in at the waist. So I definitely think this is going to look nice. I love this. I think, you know what? I feel like this would be a really cool DIY project, don't you reckon? This would be so easy. I mean, all you really need to do is just have any sort of pullover and put holes all along there and then just do it up like a shoelace. Like that, I'm inspired. <laughs> huh, I'm gonna become a DIY channel. That's, that's my aim now. I have that video series that I've been wanting to do for ages where I take the clothes that I didn't really like from my other haul videos and then I kind of do some DIY projects to make them better. And I feel like this is an excellent idea. I'm gonna do this on some of the pullovers that I already have that I don't like that much. But this one, yeah, I really like it. And it's so soft too, and it feels like it's really good quality. And for the price, A plus, A triple plus, 100%, I would recommend this one. I hate sounding like a broken record, but this next one I'm also very excited about. This is a beautiful skirt. And I'll tell you what, this is very heavy. And this is very, very well made. So, oh, hmm, I don't know. I said it's very well made, but then I looked at this and there's some loose stitches. So. I think that you'll have to kind of expect that the stitching might not be on point because the clothes are basically less than $20. But this is probably, in terms of overall, if I ignore the stitches, I think this is one of the nicest skirts that I've ever picked up. It's very heavy, it's very solid, it looks really shapely, like I think that it's going to be a really, really nice shape on me. So I'm very excited to try this one. Okay, here's the skirt. The skirt, like I said, is very heavy. It's kind of suede and it's beautiful to touch. It's so nice. It's got this lovely ribbon at the side and I think you're probably just meant to do a bow, I think. What are you doing? Something like that. But lengthwise, it's very nice. It's not too short again. Like I said, I really can't wear very short things, but this sits at a totally fine height and I think that the shape is very, very flattering. I mean, I'm looking at myself in the screen. So I'm just gonna look at myself in the mirror. Very flattering, I like it. I like it a lot. I I mean, I, I'm quite far away from, quite far away from my camera screen, so I can only just see, but I just looked in the mirror and I think it looks really pretty. I think you'd call this an A-line skirt, right? And I think it's so flattering. Cinches you in at the waist, comes out, has a little bit of a wave to it. I really like this little detail. <laughs> And I love it so much and it's very, very nice. So this one, for the price, A++++, absolutely. I love this too. Oh my gosh, you know what I am loving about Shein so far? Sizing. I didn't have to size up or size down in anything. I mean, I know it's a Chinese website and people normally size up on Chinese products, but I purposefully only bought my size because I wanted to see, like, is the sizing accurate or not? And I'm small, all of this is small, 
it all fits me perfectly. This next one was very sort of Korean. I think that this looked very Korean. When I was in Harajuku, I saw a lot of Korean clothing and this kind of reminded me of some things that I saw over there. This is really cool. I really like things that have O-rings. So this is a little pullover thing and it's got an O-ring zipper, which I love that. It doesn't feel very heavy, but it's not, it's not very expensive either. This again seems to have a little bit of a stain on it. Oh no, no it's not a stain, it's just some red thread. That's fine. Okay, so this passes all the tests. Okay, here's this cool Korean style pullover. I love this. I don't think that it's very thick and I don't think that the material is that fantastic, but I think it's really cool. I really like the length of it here. And it does all the way up too. So I think that that kind of gives me like a rich person, a rich person staying in a ski lodge in the Alps kind of vibe. That's what I get from that. But then if you undo it, then I think it's a, a lot more casual and friendly, if that makes sense. I think for the price, this one's totally fine as well. I've been very impressed with all of these things price-wise. I feel like you get exactly what you paid for. It's, it's great. As some of you guys know, I always like to ask people to send me things that are outside of my comfort zone, as well as pastel items, because I know that a lot of you guys don't wear pastel, but you do like watching my videos. So here we have our first black clothing item, and it is a fake leather skirt. Now I think that this looked a little bit better on the model than it looks in person. It looks a little bit crinkly, but that might come out, you know, if I, if I hang it up it might come out. There's another loose stitch just here, I can see, and uh, we'll see if Archie can put a hole in it. Well, yeah, Archie managed to crease it. But if you don't have any birds around, then maybe this one would survive in your household for more than five seconds. <laughs> black leather skirt. It's fitting me okay. I had a little bit of a problem getting it over. You apologize. You apologize now. You tell them you're sorry. Are you sorry for what you've done? You know what happens to bad boys. Can you go, go out there. Go have some lunch. Yes, so here's this skirt. The skirt is fitting me pretty well. I had a bit of an issue getting it over my thighs at first, but then as soon as I got it around my thighs, it was fine and it's fitting me really nicely around my waist. There's a tiny little bit of room, but I think that's all right. I really like these zipper details. Let's see, are they real pockets? Hello darkness, my old friend. They're not real pockets. But maybe I could DIY it to make them real pockets, potentially. So I basically think that price-wise, this one is, yeah, I guess it's worth it because it fits really nicely. The length is a tiny bit short for me. If you're taller than me, if you're taller than five foot nine, don't buy this, just, just don't. I mean, uh, unless you want to show off your bum. So yeah, that's fine, do it. But <laughs> if you don't want to go showing your bum around and you're over five foot nine, this one isn't going to be a great choice because it's very, very, very short. But if you're less than five foot nine, I think that you could pull this. You could pull this off fine. And I think this, as an outfit combo, is really cool. Yeah, don't you? I think this is awesome. And now I'm just tossing up. How do I want to try on that pullover? Do I want to try it on with this one or the pink one? No. Mm, Sorry to be revisiting something that I've already talked about, but I just wanted to see what this would look like tucked into the skirt. And I think this is awesome. I really like this look. I think that I might wear this pullover out today because this is so comfortable, I actually don't even want to take it off. I have this touching my bare skin. I don't have a top on underneath it. And it's so cozy and I love it. And the very last item is something that I chose for myself. All the other things are things that my followers sent me, but this one, I really wanted to try this because since I was young, I've always really liked this sort of style, but I've never owned anything like this. And I don't really know what to call the fabric and I don't really know what to call the style, but it kind of reminds me of like retro vintage, I don't know, you'll, you'll see what I mean. This is very solid, very heavy. This on the model looked amazing. This is a beautiful looking dress. And this is definitely not the sort of color that I would normally wear, but I just loved the fit so much on the model and I thought it looked so sophisticated and so classy. So I knew that I had to give it a try.
All right, Archie, this is the part of the video where you have to leave because I'm trying on the clothes. You have to go. I, I don't care what you say, you have to go. That's a great trick. Yes, you can do the splits and I can't, but I don't care. It's not enough to keep you around. You're going to have to leave. Could you please let go? Thank you. Here, look, How, you can always just sit there. What if you sit there like that? Is that okay? I can't really try the clothes on like this, I can try. What do we do now? Okay, you gotta go. Bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna call this one the Austin Powers dress because... I really like this. I think that this is so well made. The fabric is so thick. I feel like I can wear this in winter in Australia very, very happily. I really like it. I just have to go look in the mirror. One sec. Yes, I've seen it in the mirror. I adore it. I think this is so beautiful. Absolutely love it. Love these big flared sleeves. I think flared sleeves are beautiful. I think this little hemline down here is really cute too. I love that it kind of puffs out like that. That's adorable. Fits me really nicely around the waist. And I definitely think that for the price, this one's totally worth it too. You know what? <laughs> Guys, for everyone that sent me suggestions, I can't thank you enough. You picked the best items. I'm in love with everything that I tried on today. This is the first haul that I feel like I don't have to sell anything. Like usually when I buy stuff, I'm like, oh, maybe there was five things that I absolutely loved and the rest I might sell or return. This is the first haul where I feel like absolutely every one of these things that I tried on, I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna wear a lot. Come on, come say bye. You gotta come say bye. Yes. That was really, really fun to film. I loved everything. It felt like Christmas because everything that came out of that parcel was so nice. And I feel like you guys that chose those items did such a good job. I loved everything. So definitely check the links in my description. I've put all the links to each of these items and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other things on that site that I would really, really like to buy. I mean, to be fair, if it had been up to me, to choose the items for this haul, I would have chosen some completely different things, but I really wanted my followers to choose because I have a lot of clothes and I kind of feel like it's there's really no use in me picking everything because what good is that gonna do for you guys if the items that I'm choosing aren't things that you like? So that's why I really like to choose things that you guys wanna see, but I'm so happy. Everything that you picked is absolutely amazing. If you liked this video, maybe subscribe. So yeah, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Archie, you have to come, come say bye. Come on, come back. Come on. You don't want to say bye, but you have to. You have to, come on. Come on. Come on. Archie, come on. Good boy. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all.